Uh, Dakara, what do you remember about what your cousin did to you? Um, Steve, I was about six years old when my cousin first started touching on me. Um, he was always coming to my house, asking me, like, hey, where's Kara sleeping at? Um, where are you sleeping at tonight? Being really nasty, like, you know. And I felt really disgusted. I felt hurt. I felt betrayed because every time I told someone in my own way, like, hey, I'm being messed with and this is going on, like, nobody believed me. They were calling me promiscuous. And how old were you at this time? I'm six. I was six. And they're calling you promiscuous. Here I am, Steve, a six-year-old little girl being called promiscuous. Like, I can remember um, him touching on me, like, the first time he's touching on me, breathing down my neck, like, in the back of me, like, you know, humping on me. It, like, it first started off just touching and stuff. Then he, like, actually graduated into, like, penetrating me. And this went on until I was, like, 11 years old. And I started running away. And when I was running away and... My mom put, like, a pins on me for running away. I would always get in trouble. And every time I come back, they would say, oh, you were out You were out getting Like, you were out doing this, you were out doing that. Um, and I'm just tired of it. I'm, I really just want to prove today that my cousin did these things to me. And I'm tired of people calling me a liar and saying I'm promiscuous and stuff. And if I was that way, it's because he did this to me. Okay. What happened in the computer room? So, um... He was trying to shove me underneath a desk. Like, there was a computer, and it was like a desk, and he was trying to shove me underneath there so he can, like, take my clothes off and perform sexual acts on me. So the way the computer room was set up in my family member's house is, like, if he shoved me under the desk, they can't see what he's doing when they come in the room. But then he had got caught. Two of my family members caught him. They ended up, like, spanking him and sending him back to where he lived at. So they did catch him in an inappropriate act. They caught him in an inappropriate act. They called my, my mom on the phone and told my mom, like, hey, so-and-so's been caught doing this to Kara. Um, she was with my, my dad at the time, and my dad was outraged. He wanted to come and kick his ass. So my mom was like, no, I got it under control. But really, it wasn't under control because why was he still coming to my house? Why was he still able to be around me? What happened like, in your mother's room? In my mother's room, um, that night he was trying to touch me again, and I tried to get away from him. I went up going in my mom's room and getting in her bed. He, like, crawled on the floor, come in her room, crawl on, the, crawl on the floor. My mom wakes up, like, what are you doing in my room? He goes, I'm looking for the remote. But he was really coming in to touch me. So my mom tells him, hey, you have to get out of my room. So I started crying, and she's telling me to get out, too. So I don't want to get out, so I'm still sitting there, and she's, like, cursing at me, like, like why the hell are you still in my room? Why are you still in my bed? There's, like, one incident he took a vibrator from. I don't know where he got it from. Took a vibrator and stuck it in my ear in the kitchen. He's a very creepy, creepy kid. He doesn't say much, but he's a creepy kid. And every time he gets excited, every time he sees me or even thinks about doing something to me, his glasses fog up. Like, seriously, like, he's, there's something wrong with him. Um, so your mom really didn't believe you, but your dad did. My dad, 100%, I love him. He, he always believes me, without a doubt. Like, my dad is always there for me. He, does, he doesn't care what I'm talking about. He's going to be there for me. He's going to be there for me. That's 110%. My dad is on my side. On my side. Which is the way it should be. On my side. He don't care about none of that. No. Um, now, I'm told, after you moved to another city, did the abuse continue? Yeah, so... Um, after I moved to another city, it was weekends now. Like, before he was at my house every day, but now it's weekends. So, I would, like, towards, like, Thursday or Friday, like, my stomach would start hurting, and I'd start planning on, like, running away, because I'm like, hey, this dude's about to come to my house over the weekend. He's about to be here. He's here every weekend. Um, so I, I would, like, run away again and, you know, do me, do whatever I want to do. After the weekend is over, I'd come back, and then I'll get, like, my, 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 my family. Like, hey, you know, you were out doing this, you were out doing that, or where have you been? Why are you guys so clueless? You know that he's here. You know I don't want to be around him. Did your cousin ever blackmail you or threaten you if you told someone? He tried to force me to have sexual intercourse with another individual that was in my house. And I told him, hell no, I'm not doing that. So when I told him I didn't want to do it, he was like, hey, if you don't do this, then I'm going to tell your mom that you're out here um, having sex with other people. Well, tell her what you want to tell, because at this point, we already know that you're a creep. Were you ever in foster care? Yes, I was in foster care. Um, when I was, like, 13, my mom signed over her rights because I was running away a lot. Everywhere we moved, every place we was at, he was always there. Um, as I got older, um, yes, I was um, about five months pregnant with my child, and um, he sent me, like, 
messages. It first started off as phone calls, and he was like heavy breathing, and then he would hang up. Um, ended up calling the phone back, and when he did, he, he was making noises as if he was like masturbating and stuff, sexual noises or whatever, hung up the phone. He's texting, saying, you know, hey, I hope you have a girl so that way I can do the same thing to her that I did to you. Then he's like, hey, um, I'm going to give your daughter liquid ecstasy. Um, I'm going to um, remember what happened in the computer room. Um, remember this situation. Like, remember this. Just, just saying stuff like that. And when it came up, my family member was saying, oh, um, he was hacked by another family member. It was no way that it was him. But the specifics that he's going into, only me and him know that because you were doing it to me. Only me and you were there. Steve, I seen this man in the store and I ran down on him and I told him like, listen, I'm a grown ass woman right now. You was not about to keep trying to intimidate me and instill fear in me. I will whoop your ass. Try me now, try me now. Do you still tell your family members like what he's still currently doing? Everybody knows and everybody is just basically on his side. Like what to social media and said, oh, um, she's a prostitute. Uh, I do drugs. I'm lying. This is all in my brain. Um, I've been a problem since young. It's, 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 it's crazy. Do you it's, still talk to your mom about it? Um, my mom is very, like, I don't, I don't want to say she's not on my side. I just, it's, it's more like, I don't want to hear that. But one thing I can tell you, my dad is furious. I don't blame him. My dad, I, my dad is like, Yo, listen. Did anyone make allegations to CPS against your children? Yes. Um, so I don't want to get into too much specifics, but ACS actually took my son to get, like, checked and make sure that there was nothing wrong with my son. And then they ended up closing that case. I'm here to see if my cousin molested my sister to care. A couple months ago, my sister had brought it to the family's attention that there was something going on between her and cousin like my family they, they, they didn't believe Kara or none of that after that she brought everything to Facebook when she brought it to Facebook that's when like everybody was like trying to listen you, you know what I'm saying they were trying to listen and all that to Kara and another family member they were going back and forth because they was like oh you didn't do that I don't believe you you're just looking for attention this and that this and that I just want to see if, if it's true, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm not on nobody's side, bro. I'm not on nobody's side. Because I don't, I, even though, like, me and my cousin, I don't get along with him, I don't, I don't think he a, he a type of person to do all that, bro. But, but if, if, if she's lying, I'm just walking away. I ain't going to lie, Kara. If you making up, then I'm, I can't socialize myself with you. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 can't, I can't socialize myself with nobody like that because that's looking for attention and you trying to throw dirt on another person's name. Uh, let's meet your brother, Ty Kim. Ty, are you serious? What? Why would I make this up? Oh, because first of all, like... I'm not lying, bro. That's one thing I don't have to do, bro. And you sitting there talking about you're not in the middle, but there was a point in time where you was not talking to me behind this situation. There was a point in time where you said you did X, Y, and Z to because he assaulted me. But you never even tried to figure out what's going on. You never even asked me no questions. No, none of that, bro. First of all... Everybody is against me. First of all, because you know we had falling outs and all that stuff. So. It don't matter. I'm your sister. All right. And it don't matter about none of that. I'm your sister, bro. You're right. Behind all of that, I'm your sister. You still You're supposed right. to be on my side. You're right. If I'm lying, then you can decide to deal with me on, on that. But well, at the end of the day, once I say somebody touch me or violate me, it's supposed to be up. Well, it's supposed to be up. Bro, you know how we rock. We was like this, bro. Yeah. Remember, you fought bitches for me. Yin and yang all the way, bro. That's a fact. You was like the, my favorite brother, the closest brother I ever had, bro. Don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, and that's don't a fact. Don't do that, and, bro. And no, no matter don't, what. Don't, no don't, matter, can don't you listen smudge, to me? bro. No matter what, I'm going to still have your back, but I just feel, I just feel like, first of all, I, I haven't seen you in like two years, bro. It don't matter. What, what you mean? And why you matter? think you haven't seen me in bro, two first years? First of all, I try to contact you and you just, you in your own world. So I, a, and, and I try to contact you, and what I say, the last thing I, I did, I said, yo, bro. Every time you contact we, me is negativity, bro. No, it's not. I called dad, and I said, yo, dad, tell Ty a showcase coming up. You said, I don't want to talk to that bitch. 
Hang up. I don't want to talk to her. Um, <laughs> would there be any reason for your sister to make this up to lie about it? I mean, like, yeah, because you like, you know how females like don't get attention. They don't be getting their way so they can. <laughs> Let <laughs> boo. Um, you were starting to explain, which I think you might want to be careful on how you explain that. I don't got to be careful to explain nothing, bro. Okay. It's, it's, the, it's like how I feel. I'm okay. going to speak so how let, I I'm, feel, So bro. listen, like, come on. let's, with no reaction, I would like to hear your, your explanation again. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, wh where was I at? You were saying, I said, why would she make this up? Why would she lie? Yeah, because I said, like, like, not just females. I didn't mean to say females, but people in general. When people feel left out, they don't get their way in going on, bro. They going they gonna try to do something, you know what I'm saying, to get attention. That's where I'm trying to right. come from. I'm not I trying to put her down. I do think that this might be a case with your sister. Yeah, I'm not trying to put her down because that's my sister. And like she said, we was tight. And regardless, I'm going to have her back. Yeah. I'm going to have her back regardless. But I just be, like... We just been through a lot. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say on like the right. whole family been through a lot. I'm not gonna say on TV, but like I like you, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. Your father uh, left us a voicemail. We're gonna listen to that now. Hi, Steve. Kimber, that's my daughter. I love her. I love you, man. You know that. This kind of that nobody believes her and her family. Everybody thought she was bugging out, lying, trying to get attention, but she wasn't. He got caught in the act. And for him to disrespect his aunt and me and violate and do this stuff and continue to do it for years, it's a problem. But she didn't say nothing because she knew she was going against the favor. She knew they wouldn't believe her. She just held it in. We here to find out the truth, which I already know the truth. I told my daughter I believe her. I don't care what anybody say. That's my daughter. Shakira, you've been through a lot, and you came here today to take a lie detector test, and we asked you, between the ages of about 6 to 13, did your cousin ever rape you? You answered yes. Between the ages of about 6 to 13, did your cousin ever make you perform oral sex on him? You answered yes. Between the ages of about 16 to 13, did your cousin ever blackmail you if you told anyone about the sexual abuse, you answered yes. Have you ever lied about or fabricated any part of the story that your cousin sexually molested and raped you between the ages of about 16 to 13? You answered no. The results came back all the same to those four questions, and it came back that Takara told the truth. Yeah! I gotta imagine this is a huge thing for you to finally, maybe your family's gonna believe you. Your brother said he believes you now. Um, you know, your father was always there believing you. I would hope that if you do anything, you call the police, okay? I would hope nobody takes matters into their own hand because all you're gonna be doing then is making a situation that's been bad for a long time even worse. Because I would hate to see your family, somebody get incarcerated, torn up, anything, because of this. If you do anything, you call the police, say what happened, and you put this guy behind bars, okay? But anything that other than that, him. you will, everybody will just be screwing up your family even worse, and you guys don't need any more of that, okay? Okay. okay. I wish you all the luck. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for coming on. Right, I'm a big fan. My, mo you. my mom Girl, says I hi. Watch your show Thank you. Every day on Facebook. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, sir. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.